In 1967, every major car company in the world was struggling to invent the intermittent windshield wiper. The solution... Hey, Dad! Mom wants to know where the blender is. It's down here! He's taking it apart! ...came from a college professor in Detroit. One, two, three, now! Wow! Ford is very interested. Why, wow, Ford, wow. They want it. Oh, where, where's it going? Bob's real big on security. Come on, let her rip. That is very good, Bob. That's <laughs> very, very good. Bob Kern's winner of the wiper competition. Congrats. We're going to need a working unit from you. There's 20 million cars built in this country, and every one of them's going to need our wiper. Wow. They want out, Bob. Who wants out? Ford. Out? They have the unit. I know. I know. Introducing the finest Ford Mustang and the brand new intermittent windshield wiper. Let's give it a hand. That is my design. Right this way, sir. Outside, please. They took this from us. You're going to be fine. You need to take a hard look at reality and realize what we're up against. It's just a windshield wiper. To you, maybe. To me, it's the Mona Lisa. Suing one of the most powerful corporations in the world, that's something you take on lightly. Ford does not know the meaning of years or money. This is about more than money. This is about right and wrong, and you know it. We're going to have to go it alone. No going to the law library is not going to make you a lawyer, Bob. Kearns versus Ford. I'm not sure why, but I understand you'll be representing yourself. My son, Dennis, will be helping me out. gone on long enough now. They have all the time. We don't. Are you backing out of this? Ford wants to offer your family $30 million. Do they admit it was my invention? No. Don't do it, Dad. You could walk away with nothing. I do know where you go is where I want to be. Makes you wonder what makes a man successful. Brains, talent, maybe it's some other thing.